The context of our gospel text of today is that Jesus is speaking with the crowds. And even as he speaks, he receives a message to say that his mother and family are waiting outside for him. When Jesus responds, he responds by saying who his true family is and who is really related to him. Jesus is not refuting the fact that there are relations by blood and that it is his mother who has given him birth. However, when he talks about familial relationships, he goes beyond merely blood relations to doing the will of God. In other words, anyone who, like Jesus, focuses on doing the will of God is a brother and a sister of Jesus. The disciples whom he has chosen follow him and emulate him in the doing of the will. And that is why when Jesus is told about his family, he looks and points at his disciples and says that his disciples are really his mother and brother and sister because they, like him, do God's will. This does not mean that his mother who gave him birth, his blood mother Mary, was not doing God's will. As a matter of fact, she is the epitome of one who constantly does God's will. She is the model of what it means to respond to God totally and unconditionally, holding nothing back. It is in the context of his mother that Jesus can talk about doing God's will because he saw in her an individual, a human being, who did God's will to perfection. And the question is, what is God's will for me today? When I am faced with a situation in which I have to make a choice and both the options are good, then I got to discern I got to reflect, I got to pray, which of these good options will I choose and which of these options is doing God's will. If after my discernment, if after my reflection, if after my prayer, one of them is giving me greater tranquility, greater serenity, greater inner peace and joy, then I will choose that and that is what it means to do God's will. In other situations, after I have done everything that is required of me, after I have left no stone unturned, after I have done my best, and still the event doesn't occur according to my expectations, then I regard what has happened as God's will for me, and I accept that will. This is the challenge of Jesus today and this is how one can be related to Jesus by doing and accepting God's will. Will I like Jesus do God's will constantly no matter how difficult it might be at times?